Hey everyone, today I am going to be doing my part two of the 2021 summer trends, fashion trends. And in today's video, I get to talk about all of the trends that I really like and that I think that I would like to incorporate into my wardrobe, into my style, and kind of play with and have some fun with. I came up with six trends that I really like and that I want to share with you. Pastels for the color. Um, so light colors of like pinks yellow, blues, purples, things like that. I don't have a lot of color, I guess you could say, in my wardrobe. It's basically white, black, gray, and blue. Blue's like my only color that I have. I have a couple of like, I have like two things that are purple and things like that, but most of them are actually darker colors. So the colors I have, the blue, the purple, I think I have um, like burgundy. So they're all darker and I would really like to incorporate some lighter colors into my wardrobe. I think that they would probably look good on me. Um, hopefully not wash me out though because I am so fair. Um, but I think they're really pretty. I think they're beautiful, fresh. It's, it's very summery and I think it's just really nice and classy at the same time as being fun. Um, I think it can be done nicely. Specifically for this trend, I would like to find some tops in this color. Maybe some jackets, blazers would be kind of fun. Um, or dresses, things like that. I don't know if I would be up for the pants um, in the pastel color. I think that's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but uh, you know, I think everything else it would be fun to play with pastels as the color of. This is something that I would like to find or seek out and bring into my wardrobe and into um, my outfits and play around with this trend. All right, the puffy sleeves. I actually for some reason wasn't able to find a whole lot of inspiration pictures for this. I think I just didn't go on um, actual clothing websites. I think I probably would have found some if I would have done that. Um, but I have seen a lot of it lately and it's the puffy sleeve. Um, there's a couple different versions of the puffy sleeve. So there's the short sleeve where it's big and puffy here or there's the more billowy sleeve where it's longer. And I think the billowy sleeve is very pretty and I like it, but I, I can see that kind of getting in the way of day-to-day -day things. Uh, so as much as I think that's beautiful and I would love to wear it, I think it's not very practical. So I prefer and think that I would lean towards more of the shorter cap sleeve where it's puffier, more voluminous here. Um, I think that would be kind of pretty and fun to try and play with. And I think that there's a lot of dresses, a lot of tops that have this element incorporated into them. And it kind of gives that sweet look and and it's just kind of different. And it's, it's a little more statement-y without being too loud in your face. So I really like this trend. I think it's fun and I would like to play with it myself in my own wardrobe. Now I will say with this trend, it is summer so I feel like I could get away with it more but I am somebody who is very cold all the time so I usually always have, I don't in this video obviously, but have like a cardigan or something um, to layer with and with puffy sleeves I think that would be really hard to do that. So that's my only hesitation but again it's summer and I don't always need some extra layer. The next trend that I think would be interesting to try are the wide leg trousers or pants, jeans, things like that. Um, so just the wide legs in general for the beer bottoms. And I think that would be kind of fun to try out. I think it looks amazing on so many people. Like people look so good in this trend. And the only thing is I would love to try this and I would like to see how it looks on me personally because I am short. I am like 5'2", five, 5'3", five, and when I see this on people, most of the time it's on really tall people and it looks very elongating and sleek and sophisticated and very put together. And I don't know how that would look on my short legs. So 
this is something I would like to experiment with, but I don't know if it's really right for me, if it's the right trend for me. Um, but it is a fun one. It look, I feel like it looks beautiful on so many people, and I just, I want to look like they do. I, I want to look like that. So um, I would love to try out this trend. Again, with the wide leg trousers, I'm not sure if I would be brave enough to do the colors. Um, for this, I would probably stick to my neutrals more so, but they, the colors actually do look really good. I mean, they look stunning. I don't know if I'd be able to, but if this trend looked good on me, I'd be willing to give it a try. Okay. The next trend, I feel like most people probably won't like, but I really like this because, and this is so like contradictory from my first video of this, of the, pro the trends that I hate. Um, because I feel like this trend was something that was around when I was younger, like when I was in my early teens and things like that. And it's the Bermuda shorts. It's the longer length shorts, not quite, um, so they go like above the knee is kind of the length. So it's like between a normal short length and the knee, kind of somewhere around there, in between there. So I actually really like this trend because I think that it covers more of my legs and again I'm short so that could make my legs look even shorter to cut me off you know kind of in the middle um, but I also at the moment at this point in time would appreciate the coverage on my legs. I would feel more comfortable in this trend versus like my regular shorts. I think that my regular shorts look better on me proportionately, but um, I could use some extra coverage. I could use a little more like uh, confidence going out <laughs> in different um, bottoms and I think that the Bermuda shorts are a way to do that. I think there's some really interesting ones. There's some more fitted like jeans and things like that. But then there's also Bermuda trousers. I feel like, I don't know if that's actually a thing, but they look more like trousers or a different material other than jeans that are in this length. And I think those look really nice as well and something I would like to try out and consider um, purchasing and bringing into my wardrobe. Um, I think that they would be good like for work or um, things like that, even like a, like a semi-professional, business casual kind of look, which is something that I am actually interested in finding more pieces for and incorporating into my wardrobe. So I think this would be a good way of doing that, um, where you're not wearing shorts, but um, you know, you're not wearing pants and being too hot in the summer. I actually think, I, as much as like, I know some people hate the ripped style, I think that the ripped Bermuda shorts kind of looks kind of neat too. That's it's a lot more casual, but I think that that's kind of neat looking. I like that look, I like the clean look. So I just, I just really like this trend in general. I think there's a lot that can be done with it, a lot of different materials and different, different looks can be made from it. So I actually really like this trend and I appreciate that it's, it's actually coming back a little bit. <laughs> the next trend I want to talk about that I just think is so beautiful is the vintage floral. I think it is so sweet, so feminine, just absolutely beautiful, which is something that like I feel like I shied away from a lot before and I don't know how I would, I don't know if it's, would, if it would scream like me or whatever, but it's, it's so beautiful on so many people and I think I could pull it off. I think I could. Um, and I would love to try this. Now, there's specific florals more so that I would be leaning towards um, with this vintage floral look, and I think more of the lighter um, colors is what I was thinking versus the darker colors, because I saw a lot of darker color um, variations out there as well, but I think the lighter combinations uh, the floral would be more what I'm looking for, what I would think would look better on me. Um, but yeah, I think this trend is just so, so feminine and I just, I really like it. It's curly. I could actually see myself um, doing the vintage florals in like a nice blouse, um, a dress, definitely a dress, maybe a skirt. I don't know if a skirt is quite my kind of preference for this trend. I think some of them are absolutely gorgeous and stunning, but I think I would probably stick with more of a blousey top or a dress. All right, so my last trend, and I think it's still a trend. Again, I found all these trends online and I'm just kind of going off of what I found, are the matching sets. 
So I know that this was kind of big for, it's been big for a while now, and um, I've never kind of jumped on it, but I think that they're really pretty. There's some really nice ones, and I think that the concept of sets is really smart because you can wear them together but you can also wear them separately and combine them with other things in your wardrobe. I think it looks very put together when you wear the set you know as one and it just you know there's not a lot of thinking to it you could just go for the set and you don't have to think about what you're going to wear on top and what you're going to wear on bottom if it goes together all of that kind of takes all of the guesswork all of the time spent picking out an outfit out of it and makes it really simple and easy and quick which I appreciate so this is something I definitely would like to incorporate into my wardrobe because I haven't already and I absolutely love this blue and white one I'll show you here like oh like I'm obsessed like that is like so my style like a hundred percent with that blue and the white yes I love that one I want that <laughs> That is everything that I'm going to talk about in this video for the 2021 summer fashion trends that I absolutely love, that I want to incorporate into my wardrobe, that I want to make and play around with my style and, and have some fun with it. So as always, this is just my opinion. If you feel differently, then that is totally fine. If you like these trends or if you've already incorporated these trends into your wardrobe, let me know. If you don't like these trends, let me know if they're not your thing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and found this fun and interesting and I will see you all later. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Bye.